No, you're good. Are we we're going to talk about. We're talking about things and stuff. Today we're discussing the scourge of Whitehall and Imperium's steps to take care of the situation by offering subsidies in the form of credits to farmers willing to switch. Obviously, they're complaining that the money's just too good, and as a result, we're trying to give them an affordable alternative to a high yield crop. Indeed. So, I'm thinking that we should have a rendezvous location for the summit, and I'm thinking that six, in six, Imperium. Six is good. It's only got four ships, which I'm currently looking at on the stream. Alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, if your ship is under 500 meters and you would like to attend the farming summit with potential for cash incentives and ridding the galaxy of the scourge of Y hole, go ahead and place an X in chat. Um, can, you can I just get my ship? Go on. Go on. So then, oh yeah, he's just getting his notes set up. So obviously, um, we're talking about ice grass. So if you set up an ice grass factory or farm, we're going to be paying you. Indeed. In fact, this is basically how it goes. Ice grass is amazing. We're going to put it in everything. We're going to put it in your drinks. We're going to put it on your hull. We're going to put it in your cafeterias. We're going to put it in your children's cafeterias. Okay, it's going to help chat. break the universe of the galaxy's Y-hole addiction. Now, put an extra chat for farming. As <laughs> part of the farming farm. program, uh, actually, if somebody could take care of those X's, I'm looking at my... Yep. Uh, list right now. Um, as part of the farming program, the rewards are 100 million credits for beginning the project. You are included on Imperial patrol routes, right? So whatever sector you happen to be in, we're going to pass by it. Make sure there's no riffraff or anything like that. And you can also feel free to submit a request to your local uh, patrol commander to eliminate potentially unwholesome neighbors. And we'll also offer a free Y-hole removal service on top of that. Nice. The only, yes, and without destroying anything, either. 100% free. Yep, 100% oh, free. Right. We'll literally come there, pick them up, and throw them away. No, 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 we'll still destroy the illegal Y-hole farms because they're worth a hell of a lot more money. Yeah, but they're not as wholesome. Hey, Phantom. Hey. But there are a few requirements to have an ice crag farm. You have to have a homestead, so oh. if it's on a planet, put a house there. There you go. Or sorry, ice grass. Yep, have a homestead, so you must ice have a house. <laughs> Above ground farm, so no sneaky underground BS that we have to scan for. Right? So you must have a homestead and above ground farm. It has to be on a desert planet, because we all know that ice grass grows best on a desert planet. You have to have a power source, so solar panels, thermonuclear generator, you name it, make it look cool, put it on your planet. And, last but not least, a landing pad. Yep, gotta have a landing pad. <laughs> Down. I have one question. Shoot. Ice grass go naturally on ice planets, why are they best on desert planets? Don't ask. It's meta. <laughs> He's right. Science. Clinically proven. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, we're dealing with entirely different planets here, right? Invasive species here alone, like those stink bugs freaking coming over from Asia, destroying Damn all our crops, Asian. flourishing, right? <laughs> Going absolutely crazy, right? And that's just on one planet. Imagine As what ice grass is. a person of Chinese descent, I take issue with that. Why? Let's, okay, let's consider this. Why hole is getting shot? Or money. Why hole? Who doesn't want ice grass? Ice grass <laughs> equals money. Why holes uh, equals getting shot. Yep, and like I said, free why hole removal service. So that's always a thing. How much money are we getting? How much money are we talking about here? Yep, starting. Just to start. The yep, each farm and the bigger. The farm is we may consider additional cash incentives. So if I make a farm Ooh, the size of the planet, can I have two? So billion? is it just is uh, how much do is the so each time you guys come or you know do we depending on the yield and quality it depends. But you will be yeah. starting off with one hundred million. Okay. We will we will also harvest 
the ice grass from the farm. Now, it does have to be set up in a farm-like way. Like, it's going to be... We're expecting some kind of quality here. We can't have just product thrown all over the ground and hope to grow. So whoever's got the most advanced facility, you know, fancy schmancy greenhouse. I mean, do you have hanging radio light irrigation. things yeah do you have do you have a solar farm do you have a windmill or do you have a freaking fission power plant super farm you know it all um, depends so the better the better your homestead is and your power plant and all that other stuff those are the requirements the better the requirements chances are the better the yield and the more cash incentives you get bonus points you were feeding the universe not just thousand right. down one hold on You need a minimum of about, you know, 300, 400 square meters worth of farm. Hold on now. What? This is how it's going to go down, right? This is how it's going to go down. We're going to start off 10 by 10 farm, right? And we're not talking, and, and, and a 10 by 10 farm, we're not talking about a lot here. We're talking about like, maybe, what, 10 times, like 100. No, bear, no, because we're not going to do that it's probably going to be more like 50 maybe maybe 40 per 10 by 10 plot so a 10 by 10 plot right we're going to go ahead and start out at 5 million per harvest um what do they um like grow in do they grow in water or lava the ice crags grow on dirt but they must be adjacent to a water block <sighs> ice grass yeah i always want to say ice crags <laughs> ice crack <laughs> they go yep and we're gonna go up basically in 10 by 10 increments from there so 20 by 20 10 million 30 by 30 15 million so on and so forth until we cap it off at 100 by 100 okay i'm yep. building it already Oh yeah. Oh no, we're we're gonna we're gonna show up and monitor the harvest. Can't we just pay by the individual? This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna pay and pay the individual, but you're gonna have to harvest. But like the crop. each individual right. one instead of like oh each plot. Oh no no, it's it's plots. Yep. Does? Keep in mind, um that five million may turn like I want you to imagine like in Sim City, you know how you start off with a bunch of really crappy buildings, huh. right? You got like a, a shit brick house and like few roads. Maybe maybe you put in a windmill or two. Yeah, Good really for you. Maybe a little park. Schoolhouse. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little park, shitty windmill. Yeah, one water tower hmm. and a power plant powered by children's tears. I built the buy oil for the win. <laughs> wow. Wow. We all know what would happen if we let Cali be in <coughs> We should make him on action. In addition, Phantom, I'm literally making you the uh, the director of the Imperium Parks and Recreation Department. Get him. Huh? Yep, so. <laughs> I think we've pretty much been through all of that. So that was the discussion on the uh, subsidy of ice grass to try and wean yep. our farmers off of the Y hole scourge. So thanks for everyone in, who's enjoyed that. I'm hopefully going to be able to edit this down. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.